What's going on everybody? In today's tutorial, we're gonna build a UI stack view programmatically. Uh, a few days ago, I did a very similar tutorial using Storyboard, and I said a couple days later, I'm gonna do it programmatically as well. Well, here we are, here's that video. So if you wanna learn how to build UI stack views programmatically, like you see here, like a list of buttons and get this nice uh, landscape and portrait uh, functionality, basically for free using UI stack view. We're gonna do that today programmatically, so let's dive in. So as always, let's take a look at our starter project. Uh, we have our survey button. That just is formatting the button that you saw in the in the preview, right? We're just giving it a uh, background color of red. We're setting the font, and then we're putting the corner uh, radius on the button. Just, just basically abstracting the style of the button. And then in our view controller here, I just have the basic setup for that label. Let me go ahead and run this and show you what I have set up real quick. So as you can see, just the label pinned to the top. I went ahead and included this in the starter project because you don't wanna see me constrain a label. That's not what this tutorial is about. That's all set up and it's ready for us to dive right into the UI stack view programmatically. So the first thing we wanna do, just like this label, is we want to initialize our uh, stack view. So var stack view equals UI stack view, get the autocomplete, there we go. I'm a little anal and like to line up those equal signs, as you can tell. Okay, so just cause we've initialized the stack view, doesn't mean anything's happening. Let's let's make some stuff happen here. So uh, the first function, just like our label here, we're gonna do a uh, func configure stack view. And here's where we're gonna configure all the settings of the stack view. And we're gonna go over that uh, in like the documentation, show you like we have to set the alignment, the axes, uh, the spacing, all that stuff. That's what's gonna happen in the configure stack view. But the first thing we have to do, just like any other programmatic UI, is we have to add the subview to the view. So we'll do view.add subview, and we wanna add the stack view that we created there. Uh, and then we'll leave a comment here for constraints, cause that's gonna happen uh, as well. Actually, let's go ahead and do that first. So we actually have the structure and then we'll just kind of fill it with stuff uh, and then set it up. So uh, jumping around a little bit, let's do kind of the similar function to the title label. And these constraints are actually gonna be very similar to the title label constraints. So I'm gonna copy and paste this and I'm gonna walk through it just so you don't watch me copy and paste code around, right? We're gonna actually walk through this. Little tricks here, if you hold option and drag, you can highlight like vertically. So I'm gonna change that to stack view, there you go. Uh, we definitely still wanna translate the auto uh, resizing mass into constraints, so that's gonna happen. Uh, the top anchor, what do we want to put that to? Uh, we wanna pin it to the top of that label that we had up at the top. Uh, remember you see the layout here, if I go to my, my simulator, uh, right? We wanna pin it to the bottom of this label here. So instead of pinning the top to the view safe area, we're gonna pin this to title label, uh, and then we can get rid of safe area here, bottom anchor, and then the constant uh, is going to be 20. That's what we want there. Uh, actually, we want this to be uh, 30. And then uh, leading and trailing are gonna be to the view safe area, just like the, the top there, but we're gonna make it 50 and uh, negative 50. So what this is doing, we're just pinning it to the to the edges with a little 50 uh, padding uh, on both sides. And again, we're using the safe area layout guide. Uh, the title label didn't have a bottom constraint, so we do need to set a bottom constraint here. Uh, stack view dot bottom anchor dot constraint is going to be equal to uh, NS layer and it's anchor with uh, with a constant here. So that's going to be view dot safe area layout guide dot bottom uh, anchor. And then the uh, constant is going to be negative uh, 30. And then we'll go ahead and go ahead and make that is active doo -doo -doo, equals true. So now we have the uh, stack view constraint. Let's go ahead and call that replace this comment with set stack view constraints. Now, if I ran this right now, you wouldn't see anything because we haven't put anything in the stack view or really done anything to it. So let's start configuring it and putting stuff in there. And then after that, I'm gonna click into the documentation and kind of explain some more things that you can do with the stack view. So uh, the first thing we wanna talk about is the stack views axis because uh, that's basically, do we want this to be horizontal or vertical? So we can go ahead and make this vertical uh, equals dot vertical, cool. And now we wanna talk about uh, how we wanna fill it. Um, and there's gonna be a couple options. So let's do that stack view dot uh, distribution here and then equals dot, and you can see equal centering, equal spacing, fill, fill equally. I'm gonna fill equally. So what that means is I want all my buttons to fill the entire stack view equal, equal size. And now if I just leave it at fill equally and don't put any spacing in there, all the buttons are gonna run together. They're literally gonna look like they're stacked on top of each other with no visual spacing in between. So we wanna add some spacing so you can tell that it's a different button, right? So uh, stack view dot spacing. I'm not sure I understand. 
All right, so after that Siri interruption, we want to set this to uh, 20. And again, that's how much spacing is going to be in between uh, each button, right? So they look like different buttons, as you saw in the intro. All right, so cool. We've configured this. Like we've we've constrained our stack view. We know how we want it set up. We've we've configured it with like axis distribution and spacing. We know what we, what we want it to look like. But again, the stack view will look like nothing because we haven't put anything in it. So what a stack view does is it like automatically stacks the items inside it. So we want to put five buttons in this stack view and then let the stack view, you know, fill it vertically, space equally and give us 20 spacing. So let's create a function to add those buttons. And, and again, I'm over probably over abstracting just to hopefully make this easier to understand. So we're gonna create a function called add buttons to stack view. And I'm gonna create a constant here for readability purposes. So let number of buttons equal five. And then we're going to do four I in one dot 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 five. I'll explain this in a second here. The reason I'm doing one to five is because I'm gonna use I as my actual label. Let me actually type that out and I'll, I'll explain it. So uh, again, the first thing we want to do is create a uh, survey button. Let uh, button equal survey button. And actually I made the mistake. Five would be if I hard coded it. Uh, that's why I did the whole number of buttons thing. So uh, it's real easy. If I want to change the number of buttons, I just change that to that number and then the stack view will, will handle that. So I in one, two number of buttons, in this case, it happens to be five. Uh, so for each time I want to create a survey button. And then this is where the I comes into play. So uh, button dot set title. And then I want to the string words because we're just numbering it like you saw in the uh, beginning, use some string interpolation and just put I in there uh, for control state dot normal. Now, again, normally you're probably used to seeing these start at zero because if you're mapping it to an array, arrays are zero indexed, um, but I'm just using the count. So that way my titles go one, two, three, four, five. If I would have done zero in the number of buttons, uh, I would have got six buttons and it would have went zero, one, two, three, four, five. We didn't want that. Um, now, if you wanted to have some title, like an array of titles for your buttons, like, you know, poor, very poor, great, awesome, uh, you know, you can do that as well. This is just quick numbering. So again, basically I'm creating five buttons here, creating a survey button each of the five times going through the loop. I'm setting that title to I, which again is gonna be my number. And then now we have to do uh, stack view dot add arranged sub views. You don't just add sub view to a stack view. You have to add an arranged sub view. And that sub view that I wanna add is a button. So again, to recap what this is doing is I'm setting a constant for the number of buttons I have. And I created a for loop to iterate as many number of buttons as I have to number them each one through five, setting the title to that number and then adding that button to the stack view. So at this point, I wanna dive into the documentation real quick. So if I option click on stack view, click on stack view here, we go to the documentation. Uh, you're gonna get a nice little write up about UI stack view. This is good stuff. Uh, if you're not familiar with UI stack view, I recommend you read through this. But usually when I'm going to documentation, I am scrolling down to the bottom because I wanna see the properties and methods uh, on this object here. So here we are, and also initializers. So you can initialize a stack view with an array of arranged subviews. So uh, if you remember back in, uh, back in Xcode here, I am individually adding each button as a sub view in a for loop. If you had an array of buttons, you could just initialize the UI stack view with that array. And then back in the documentation now, um, here's that add arrange sub view. Again, you can check out the property of arrange sub views. You can insert and remove. Here's the configurations, the alignment axes. You know, you can just see all the stuff we can do, right? We use axis, we use distribution, uh, we use spacing. Uh, so again, I like to touch on the documentation in my tutorials a little bit. This is how I kind of explore UI stack view and see everything it can do and learn a little bit about it. So back in Xcode here, now that we've created our function to add buttons to stack view, let's call it in our configure stack view uh, function. So add buttons to stack view. And again, we have the axis is vertical. We're filling equally uh, with a spacing of 20 between buttons. Let's run this and see what we got. I do this all the time. I spend all the time writing the function and forget to actually call it. So we have configure title label. Now let's do configure stack view, which again, as you can see, adds the stack view, does all this stuff. Pretty important method, right? Now let's run it. So here you go, like I said, vertical. Uh, you see all the buttons, you see how we configured it. It's vertical, it's filled equally. And remember we can uh, we added our constraints to the bottom of the phone into the bottom of the label. So it's filling the entire length of the phone, spaced equally. Here we have our 20 spacing in between. And then the cool thing again about the, uh, the stack views is you kind of get this horizontal and portrait stuff uh, for free. Yes, the buttons are a little skinny. You could tweak that if you like, but uh, you didn't have to totally you know, do everything. Um, and that's just on the phone. If we go ahead and run it on the iPad, you'll see that looks great too. So here we have it on the iPad Pro, dark mode. Uh, but you can see we have our 50 padding on the left and right. We have 20 spacing in between. Fills the whole iPad uh, just like we wanted. 
Now you may not want that, that's subjective. Maybe you think this fills it too much. Maybe you want it to look a little different. You can tweak it for sure. But again, if we go into uh, horizontal or landscape mode, again, laid out buttons. That's the power of the stack view. You get the horizontal and uh, portrait uh, for free. As you can see, I'm going back and forth to get that nice layout. And that is the power of the stack view. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Hope that was helpful doing UI stack view programmatically. If you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos all the time. See you in the next one.